shadow sim than, than it is, but otherwise. Yeah. I'm so lucky to get to do this. It's a truly a fortunate thing. My mom can't see these. Still looks like a park loin. Yeah, that's good right there, just like that. Okay, one, two, three. I just want to pour paint on tea and just get her dripping. Okay. Ready? Set up your stuff. Underneath the surface, there are these large cultural divisions now in our society uh, where some people have a set of more traditional beliefs and some people have what they would call progressive beliefs. They think that they have this in the bag, Dan. Indeed, they may have it in the bag. That's a surprise, isn't it? And this is all about economics versus the moral issues about the characters. I, I, I was surprised at how many soldiers came up to me and said, you know, I'm voting for John Kerry because people don't really understand how bad it is over here. They thought that that would make the difference. They just weren't talking about it. So let's go back, by the way, to, to reality for a moment. This is what it looks like actually at the moment. And I don't know whether it has any sound on it, but perhaps we could have another look at it now. Just re-rack it and look at it again, uh, because this, of course, looks very much like the president and the family up in the family quarters uh, watching the returns. Bush has swept nearly all of the southern states with Ohio, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, New Mexico, Nevada, Hawaii, and New Hampshire we have in the category undecided at this moment. They are saying that George Bush has about a 1% lead there. But he started advertising last year. That's how tight this race has become. Michigan now out there with no estimated winner. Polls just closed here about 10 minutes ago, and they are now counting absentee ballots. We can tell you that we're not betting the House on exit polls, but... The President of the United States probably has already been elected. We just don't know it yet. But in fact, there are some big what-ifs out there with this checkerboard that we're playing. I think there's some contradictory information, right. and when you have that, you ought to just back off. Now, you know the old rule. Republicans vote in the morning, Democrats vote, vote at night. night. In some ways, it's a personal triumph for the son, because so often in life, he's been overshadowed by his father. And I think one of the things that President Bush can remind everyone tonight is just by being in that resident, I am the president. What was it? What could possibly be making up for the difference? Take a look at this. This is one of the most surprising findings of the night. The chief issue for people in the Midwest, moral values, 24% above the economy and jobs and way above terrorism. And I think history will record this. George Bush's policies kept us safe. Thank God. It seems that a lot of people are asking a lot of questions now. We go now to a commercial. We'll be right back. Stay here with us. Fifty million people use cannabis every day. 
Uh, 75 to 100 million people have used it. If all those people who have used it and agree that it should be legal spoke up at the same time, it will be legal tomorrow. If the doctors who know that marijuana, over 7,000 doctors agree that marijuana has med medical value, if those doctors all spoke up in, as one voice, it would be hard for the government to, to say this has no medical value. It would be hard for them to report the lies. And as information becomes more readily available over the internet, the internet we can, we, it's harder for them to spread the lies, mm -hmm. but they're counteracting this with the Patriot Act and, by, and fear and using the, you know, the secrecy in government that, to reverse these trends. I say we, you can't put the court back in the ball. It's been known. We know marijuana has value, medical value. People are suffering less because it's a direct result of the use of marijuana. Extra, something extra. Everyone likes that little something extra. A dozen rolls and the baker tosses in an extra one to make it a baker's dozen. The butcher throws in an extra bone for the bow wow. Every locality has a different name for it. Way down east in New England, they call it something to boot. In the deep south, they call it lanyard. At your neighborhood service station, they call it SO. The new SO gives you premium performance, unexcelled at regular price. And the new SO Extra is unexcelled at any price. Extra quick starts, extra power, extra anti -knock. You can take your choice. These two great gasolines are both extra value for the money. For service that is tops and gas that's extra fine, there's a smile for every mile at the S.O. sign. E-S-S-O makes your car go. Happy motoring. Two wheels are better than none. That's what my old man always says. Please, Nicky. Just a second, I'd like you run. Ah, oh, those things are for old women and scaredy cats. I know what I'm doing. Look out, he'll skid. <laughs> Phew. Now, watch this. Uh, I don't think I ever will fit in. Not here. I'm different from the guys in this town. What about the other fellows? What do they do? What are they like? Gosh, Dad, I don't know. I never noticed. This is Alex. Hello, Alex. We're very happy to have you with us. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Adams. It's nice of you to have me. Hope your dad won't mind. What? I stayed under quite a long time. Oh, don't worry about that. Well, you know, son, when we moved here this summer, I had quite a time making friends in a new office where everybody else knew each other. What'd you do, Dad? That's a swell guy. You'll like it. Well, that's beside the point, son. Where do you see the electric water heater, Dad, got it? We're loaded now. We have plenty of hot water all the time. But still, you can't forget that you're alone, an outsider. Like I told you before, my own father taught me all the tricks. Watch this. Just give him the horn and make him get out of the way. Penicide is the fine art of killing yourself and maybe somebody else before you reach the age of 20. You do it with an automobile. It's easy, really. Be careful, Nick. Don't worry, there's nothing to it. What's the matter? You've been listening to that Tina side nonsense some more? Tina side is the fine art of killing yourself and maybe somebody else before you reach the age of 20. You do it, you do it with an automobile. Tina side, 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 Tina And is his face red? Somebody help! Please, somebody help! For service that is top and gas that's extra fine. There's a smile for every mile at the S.O. sign. E-S-S-O makes your car go. Happy motoring. <laughs>